Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Another case of 2017 Bowman's Best Baseball. Eight box, pick your team number three from jazbeeshobbyland.com. A big thank you to these folks right here on the list. Joining us on a Wednesday on a new release night. Thanks for making us part of your Wednesday evening. I appreciate that. There's the list. Jeff with that last spot mojo. That's why he has a little star next to his name. And here we go. At the end of the break, we'll do a couple randomizers, especially for the uh, Transcendent Spot Giveaway. All the details are on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Do what you normally do. Buy teams and breaks. And score yourself a Transcendent Baseball Spot. Simple as that. A little Topps poster in here. Slide that over there. Right. Mr. LT, no, flawless did not happen yet. I think there's still a couple teams still left in the first flawless break. So once it fills, we'll do it. Let me drop the schedule of our evening. We only have two breaks right now, but backed up, but they're kind of longer breaks, especially that second one. So there it is in the chat. All right, box number one. Good luck, everyone. We've been pulling some really nice stuff out of here thus far. No train whistles yet, right? No, yeah, no train whistles yet. But it might be, it might be time. Third time's a charm. Good luck, everybody. This is Pick Your Team 3, of course, jazbeeshobbyland.com. We have Pick Your Team 4 and 5 on the website. And I believe Pick Your Team 4 is already close to filling. I think that's already in single digits. So we can make this a Bowman's best night. And we'll do it all over again Thursday and Friday. It'll be, it'll be a busy one, folks. Uh, first box, four autographs per box. Good luck, everyone. These cards will be randomizing left and right. I hear there's a case hit that'll be randomized separately. Dane Dunning is our first autograph for the White Sox. That'll go to Corey K. That might have been numbered. It's not. Christian Arroyo just got traded today. And nice, Bobby Dalbeck. He's your Dean's List autograph. That is 33 out of 75. It's a nice one for the Red Sox. That'll be for Corey K. So Corey K with the first two autographs. Nice one, Corey. Jeter Downs for the Reds. That'll be for Andrew Wagner. I see a lot of Jeter Downs in the Bowman's best stuff. Solid prospect for the Reds. Nice Cody Bellinger. 97 out of 99, Jay Groom. Jay Groom? Is he going by Jay now? So Jay Groom, that'll be for the Red Sox, Corey K. Taylor Trammell for the Reds, another Reds autograph for Andrew. 
Nice one, Andrew Wagner. And we've got a Freddie Freeman parallel. That's out of 250. That'll be for Joe Robinson and the Bravos. All right, that was box one. Here comes box two. Good luck, everyone. So baseball news of the day. What's the big baseball news of the day? Now I think the big baseball news of the day was Zach Britton undergoing surgery for a ruptured Achilles. I know Zach Britton was on a lot of radars, including the Dodgers, my Dodgers. A lot of was on a lot of radars, but Zach Britton surgery for a ruptured Achilles. And yeah, Evan Longoria going to the Giants. We saw that earlier. The Rays and Giants have agreed to deal that will send Evan Longoria to San Francisco. Young infielder Christian Arroyo headlines the return with the veteran outfielder Denard Spann going with him to offset some of Longo's salary. Young pitcher Stephen Wood and Matt Crook are also bound for the Tampa Bay organization. Christian Arroyo is actually one of the Giants' better hitters, younger hitters, so they must have other, I don't know the Giants farm system as well, but they must have some other guys coming up the pipeline. But yeah, Evan Longoria off to, off to the Giants to fill up, fill their black hole at third base. Uh, Rays may as well just send the Chris Archer, send the, send the Chris Archer to the Dodgers. We might, might as well just just unload that team. There's Raphael Devers at a 150. But yeah, yeah, the Orioles should have traded him, Zach Britton, while they could. It's, it's going to be rough for the Orioles to stay competitive that early in the season without, without him anchoring the back of that rotation, or the bullpen, that is. Trevor Rogers, Marlins. That Marlins auto will go to DMAC. Arthur is saying that the biggest baseball news of the day is Arthur going two for two in Bowman Best Baseball. That that is that's worthy of news. That's worthy of news. There's Aaron Judge. There's Mitchell White for the Dodgers. That'll go to Todd Beefield with the Dodgers. Byfield? Todd B. Sorry if I butchered that last name, Todd. Nice Aaron Judge for the Yankees, the X line with that. Oh, look at this. Sorcery. Speaking of Christian Arroyo, there he is. His, his, his ears were burning. He heard us. For the San Francisco Baseball Giants, Oppo Joe Mojo going to call him a toy. There he is, off to the Rays now. Victor Robles at a 250 for the Nationals. That'll be for Barry and Cody Bellinger. that go go to Todd B. Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays is your next autograph. TJ saying Mitchell White's going to be a stud. Mark it, he says. Blue Jays, that'll go to Jeff Golenthal. Last spot mojo. Nice. David Dahl in the back here. Yeah, well, I've heard a little bit about Mitchell White. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do here. Looks like he has some good stuff. Dodgers, of course, have a lot coming up the pipeline, so they slashed payroll big time to get under that luxury tax threshold, so that resets it for them for the most part. Because they're gonna count on their, their first year players to improve in their second year. 
count on some of the rookies to emerge the way Chris Taylor and Austin Barnes did last year. So they're 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 looking for a couple more players to do that. But that that should be that should be enough. And then we'll see what happens with the Dodgers and free agency in the next couple years. I think I think they're intending to make a big splash one way or the other. Yeah, Barry's saying that Orioles put themselves in a really bad situation when they signed Crush Davis to his contract. Then they got stuck between needing to rebuild and bad contracts. Isn't that the story of the Orioles, though, I feel like? The, the Peter Angelos-led Orioles? That always seems to be the story. They'll never do a full teardown to do, a, to do a complete rebuild. And sometimes, you know, they always end up being stuck in between. Always in that middle ground, where, it's, where sometimes you're like, could this be the Orioles here? And you don't quite get it there. Then they get unlucky with this Zach Britton deal. I mean, at this point, would it now be the time to just say, listen, guys, you know, I know we don't like doing this, but but we got we we might have to think about just a big a big teardown. Let's let's move, you know, let's move Manny Machado, ASAP. Let's move Adam Jones, ASAP. And start building around Trey Mancini, etc. Yeah, I think this is this is the question I always ask. When's the last time the o Orioles had a quality starting pitcher? Well, no, I, I usually ask when's the last time they, they developed a starting pitcher from their farm. I think that I think it's got to be Mike Mussina. I think we was the last time that. that a team had four twenty game winners? Well, that was the Orioles, right? <laughs> is that is that Earl Weaver's Orioles? Yes, sir. It's been. You know that that's funny because the Orioles do have pitching tradition, but the, but the last yeah. 20, 25 years they just haven't. Aside from like Mike Buscina, they haven't really developed anything, no, no. which is kind of which is really weird. It's not like they have pitching tradition. All right, see ya, Arthur. Three for three. Pavin Smith, another Pavin Smith for Arthur's arsenal of Diamondbacks. There you go, Arthur. Nicely done. I feel like, well, is this your like second or third one? I feel like, Arthur, you could probably grade one of these, whichever ones you get, probably grade one of those and uh, hold on to it, see what happens. Shane Boz, the Boz, that'll go to the Pirates. That'll be for Rogelio with the Pirates. Dylan Bundy, yeah, actually, Dylan Bundy could be a stud, right? Alex Verdugo could be the next stud for the Dodgers. Uh, this atomic mirror image, that's, that's only one per case. That will be randomized separately at the end of the break. This is a big one right here. Keston Hiura. For the Milwaukee Brew Crew, that'll go to Nick Kania. Hiura went to UC Irvine, right here. Just about 30, 40 minutes down the 405. Big prospect for the Brew Crew. And Logan Warmoth. Logan Warmoth. For the Blue Jays, that'll be for Jeff Goldenthal, last spot mojo, 41 out of 50. That card is gold. There you go. Another nice box. This stuff has been pretty solid. Yeah, TJ saying that he's graded a couple of his bennies. They've graded really well. Arthur, I, I mean, seriously, that's a that's a top it's a top ten pick for the Diamondbacks, right? He plays third, right? I forget what position he plays. Oh, it's his first. Oh, first base. Well, I don't know. Could maybe maybe they move him to the outfield or something like that. He's young enough where they might be able to move him around. But um, all the kids these days seem to be play, be able to play multiple positions. So if he ends up being like an anchor of their outfield. High round pick. 
I think he I think he's out of college too. Yeah, he's out of Virginia. So you got to think that uh, that you'll see him a little bit sooner than some than uh, the high school draftees. Uh, Barry continuing saying the the Orioles are like the Mets with their young pitchers. Don't know their process, but they always get arm problems. Hunter Harvey could be good if it, if healthy, but he's a couple years away. Yeah, well, see that's that's what I'm saying, and I I know I know it's easy to it's easy to say uh, to tell anybody to tell teams what to do with their money, to tell owners what to do with their money, right? And their players they can do whatever they want, I suppose. But it seems like conventional wisdom is at this point, especially with Zach Britton going down. At this point, you would think, why not just, why not just move Adam Jones? Why not just move Manny Machado? You know, you guys have guys like Trey Mancini, you know, Jonathan Scope at second base. You know, a, a few promising pitchers coming up the ranks. You know, Adam Jones could get some decent prospects. Manny Machado will get definitely get a great haul. Why not just move those guys and say, all right, there you go. Let's just start over and see what happens. All right. Let's start with this stack. Cole Reagans for the Rangers. That'll be for the X line. There you go, Josh. Good to see you. Happy Christmas to you and yours. Little Cole Reagans for you. Raking rookies, Cody Bellinger. He does rake. And there's Jason Groom. Not Jay Groom, but Jason Groom for the Red Sox. Corey K. With the Bo Sox. Brendan McKay, and there's another Logan Warmoth for the Blue Jays, and Jeff Goldenthal. Right, and Barry's saying, hey, listen, they should, especially since they probably won't be competitive in the AL East for a little while with the way the division has improved. You know, Yankees and Red Sox, not only do they have young teams, but they're definitely willing to spend money, too. That's for the A's. That'll go to Colin Matoy with the Athletics. we got a red Nolan Arenado. Two out of ten on the Reds. Uh, Arenado, Joe Robinson with the Rockies. And Mitch Keller for the Pirates. Pirates have good arms coming up through the farm system. So Garrett Cole might be someone we see going away somewhere. And Alex Bregman at the end. There is Lee side. Jeff, what's going on? All right, so the AL East. Yeah, the Orioles really should should just start a rebuild really quickly. Otherwise, you may blink, and then all of a sudden the Rays or or the Blue Jays have retooled, and now now they're they're running away with a division, you know, four or five years later. The Orioles aren't have just kind of been in the middle ground that entire time. You know, I've never been to that ballpark in Baltimore, Camden Yards. I feel like people say, anecdotally, people say that that's still a beautiful ballpark, even after all these years. That they that they kind of did it right the first time and it should really stand the test of uh, test of time for decades to come.
Barry saying, yeah, it's a great Paul Park, but live in Maryland, you've been many times. Nice. That's what I hear. I hear it's great. I know, I do too, Jeremy 33. Jeremy 33 says, hey, I miss baseball. I kind of do too. I mean, it'll, it'll be back before you know it. That's the crazy part. I mean, we're already pretty much a couple weeks away from the end of the month. Next thing you know, it'll be another month. Pitchers and catchers will start reporting. Position players will start reporting. And then it's spring again. All right, next box. We got Jorge Bonifacio for the Royals. That'll be John Mortolaro with the Bonifacio. Wilson, uh, no, I was going to say, why did I say Wilson Contreras? Anthony Rizzo out of 250. Somehow, somehow Wilson Contreras in my head. Uh, EA Sports is in the game with the Cubs, with the Rizzo. Respect me, says Anthony Rizzo. And there's Alex Verdugo. That'll be a big prospect. Up and comer for the Dodgers this season. I think he might even have a chance to start, Todd. We'll see if he's another Rookie of the Year candidate uh, for the Dodgers. Look, TJ, Tulsa getting a little reference here on the back of the card. Nice. Alex Fajardo, green. For the Indians, that'll be Nick Kania. Yes, Hiller, this is uh, Bowman's best number. Pick your team number three. This is 60 out of 99 for the Tigres. Tigers auto going to Rogelio. Another Rizzo out of 150. For the Cubbies and Eric. Clark Schmidt for the Yankees. That'll go to the X line and the Bronx Bombers. I see CJ saying that Verdugo has a cannon for the for an arm. He's got good see that that's why Jock Peterson may not be may not be long for center field, at least starting center field for the Dodgers. Verdugo might take that over. And likes to play paintball in the laundry room. 31 out of 99. Padres parallel. That'll go to Darren McKenzie. D Mac. I think he's got a he's got a, Verdugo's got a good bat too, right? I don't know if his power has really I don't know about his power, but I think a lot of people, everyone's saying that he's got a good eye. He's a smart hitter. People say that if, uh, like, almost like Austin Barnes, people say Austin Barnes, that guy hits every day. He could hit well over 300 over across the season. I'm looking forward to seeing that. All right, next box. other minor news. It looks like the Brewers signed Yolis Chassin. So the Brewers are quietly trying to improve their starting rotation. I think they added uh, Gallardo, Giovanni Gallardo, not too long ago. So they're adding Yolis Chassin, who I believe was with the Padres. Who had some decent starts here and there. It was kind of up and down. Sometimes he would have a great run of starts and then sometimes not so great. Mets extending Sandy Alderson. Mariners signed Juan Nicasio. I think the Phillies made that Carlos Santana deal official. Move that around here. All right.
Jeter Downs for the Reds. Andrew Wagner. Is that right? Chasine and Nikoski are former Tulsa Drillers? Saying TJ. Oh, right, because you guys were... I keep forgetting that. No, it wasn't that long ago you guys were the Rockies affiliate. 64 out of 150. Craig Kimbrell for the Red Sox. Corey K. And Ulysses Guriel, raking rookies autograph, 95 out of 99 for the Astros. Todd, Todd B. Other side here. Josh Bell out of 250 for the Pirates. Rogelio with the Pirates. Got Derek Fisher, another Astros autograph for Todd. Nice. I don't remember who who broke his neck. You got to refresh my memory on that story. Nicasio? Did he have some weird freak injury? Speaking of freak injuries. Martin Perez broke his non-throwing elbow. You guys hear about that? Uh, Helio Ramos for the Giants. Colin with Oppo Joe Mojo. I think Martin Perez, back home in Venezuela, was uh, got startled by a bull. Got started by, startled by a bull in a pen. And he fell on his non-throwing elbow. There's Giancarlo Stanton, 31 out of 50, still Marlins edition for DMAC. Two boxes to go. This is Bowen's best, Pikachu team number three, Pikachu team number four, filling up as we speak on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Right, exactly, Barry. That's no bull on that. Coming up after this will be Donruss Optic Football, full case pick your team break. What are some other, there's gotta be some other like weird like odd injuries, you know, like wacky injuries. I feel like there's classic injuries of like guys like showering and they've strained an oblique or something like that. I think someone was reaching for a remote control and they got injured. Second to last box, last two mini boxes. Good luck, everybody. Dustin Fowler for the Yankees. That'll be for the X line. There you go, Josh. Austin Beck for the A's. Colin Matoy with the Athletics. He has the Bay Area teams. Jeremy33 saying, your buddy at college had to wear a neck brace for three months due to a Frisbee accident? It's Cody Ballinger. And there's the case hit, Blake Rutherford. The monochrome on-card autograph, Blake Rutherford for the White Sox. And that'll be for Corey K with the case hit. Nice. 
47 out of 125. That is strong. Quentin Holmes is your fourth autograph, right? There he is. For the tribe, Quentin Holmes. Nick Kania with the Indians. No, there's another one. Bonus. Alex Fajardo, Tigers. All right. Last box coming up. Oh yeah, I remember that Mike Coolbell situation. When he got struck by the ball, that was terrible. I'm but I'm talking about more lighthearted, <laughs> more lighthearted situations, Roy. Like, well, like what, like what Barry's talking about. Carl Pavano, I remember Carl Pavano sh slipped on ice while shoveling his driveway, and the shovel jabbed into his side and ruptured his spleen. Oh, man, see that's embarrassing. That, that's got to be embarrassing. That's got to be like, so what happened? You know, it's like, what happened, Carl? Yeah, I was, I was shoveling. I slipped. It hit my side. It ruptured my spleen. Yeah, I'm sure TJ has a ton of stories from his, from his days. Um, working at the Tulsa Drillers. TJ, what, what's one of your, your favorite stories? Of like a of like a rant like a lighthearted random injury story. Oh, there's a good one. John Rocker coming back from an injury with the Rangers. So he he's doing a rehab stint, steps on the mound for the first time in six months, and then blows his elbow out on his first warm up pitch. Ooh. So what he so he goes out there, throws the warm up pitch, and then he's just like, trainers come on out. Oh, <laughs> All right, folks, last box. Good luck, everybody. We've got more Bowman's Best in the store, so keep it up. There's Brett Phillips for the Brew Crew. Uh, that goes to Nick Kania with the Brewers. There you go, Nick. We've got D.L. Hall. Disabled list. Hall going to EA Sports and the Orioles. There you go, Eric. Barry Bartlett remembers a story where Mark DeRosa injured his oblique high-fiving Bryce Harper. I don't remember that. I do remember Roy's story. Re uh, Jeff Kent, who broke his wrist, saying he, oh, yeah, I slipped off the, I think he was with the Dodgers at that point. Nice. Jake Berger, he's got a good autograph, too. Jake Berger, White Sox, Corey K. Um, yeah, Jeff can't say it. was like, oh, yeah. Or maybe he was still with the Giants. I forget. But it was later in his Giants years, possibly in his Dodgers years. Yeah, broke his wrist, claiming that he was washing his truck. He kind of slipped off a ladder or on the top of the truck, something like that. No, he was he was doing a mass bum garner. Raking rookies, Cody Bellinger, Atomic, Refractor. And our last autograph of the break, Roniel Raudis for Corey K and the Red Sox. Corey, I think you had a pretty nice break, Corey. Nice. And that is that, folks. Let's pick your team three. Let's do a couple randomizers.
So we'll do left right on these. And the atomic refractor is a separate one. So that's just tigers and rays. And of course, let's see who gets the transcendent spot. That's part of the promo in these new releases. All right, left, right first. Then we'll go Marlins. Sorry, we'll go Tigers Rays on the Atomic Refractor. Let's see. Let's alphabetize this list by your first names in break three. So, Andrew, you have an entry in the Transcendent promo. Colin bought at least two. You got a spot, Colin. Corey K got at least two. Darren got three. He probably blocked someone from getting in. Eric gets an entry. Joe Robinson gets an entry. John gets an entry. The X line gets an entry. Landon with an entry. Nick, Rogelio, and Todd. That's uh, that's 12 names this time. Previously, they've just been 10. Still pretty good odds, though. Let's roll the dice for all the lists. We're going to randomize each list five times. Three and a two. Left, right, first. One, two, three, four, and five. Left side. We'll get these. So all the teams on the left side of the card will get these mirror image ones. Okay. Next up, three and a two, five times for the Tigers raise. One, two, three, four, and five. Flips to the Tampa Bay Rays. So the that atomic refractor mirror image card will go to the Rays. That'll be for Landon. All right, and five times for this transcendent list right here. One, two, three, four, and five. Joe Robinson on top. Congrats, Joe. You have a spot in uh, 2017, Tops Transcendent Baseball. That's break number two. Break number two. So there you have it. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got more Bowman's Best in the store on Jaspie's Hobbyland. I feel like another, another Bowman is going to fill up pretty soon. Coming up next, Optic Football. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com.